G'day guys, this is Draymond here, and I stuffed up as was pointed out to me in the comments of my final camera settings video. I basically had angle and declination mixed up, so it turns out that the angle is the rotation of the camera and not its up-down tilt. So for example, this would be angle 0, this would be angle negative 45, negative 90, 45 degrees and 90 degrees. I want to make this as brief as possible. Just created a few more maps to demo the camera at different settings. To help understand how height and declination combine to give the overall camera position, I've made up this demo. For the height to increase while declination stays the same, the camera distance from the focal point actually has to increase. The opposite is true for declination. As declination increases, it actually gets closer to its focal point. Also, reducing declination increases the camera distance from its focal point a lot quicker than if we were just to increase the height. I was asked in the comments about impassable terrain, so I thought I'd throw that into this video while I'm recording. So in this map I've got three areas that I've sectioned off with the height map editor. Infantry won't be able to climb over the top of them because of their slope limit. If you go to Impass Map Editor, you pretty much just paint the terrain that you don't want the particular group to be able to get through. So if I uncheck all of these boxes, it just comes up red because there's no information about who can get through where yet. But if I click Vehicle, it shows that I've colored in this area as impassable to vehicles. Now notice this red area along here, that pretty much indicates that infantry and vehicles won't be able to get through due to the terrain, not because I've painted it. If I add skimmer to the list, the red disappears because now it's true that, at least for one of these, it can pass through this terrain. So in this first area, we've got impassable painted along all the sides. If I tell the skimmer to come across, he'll just get stuck on the side. Now in the second area, it's not painted with impassable terrain, and he'll actually come and sit up the top here. He'll move as far down as he can before stopping at the impassable terrain. Now something else about impassable terrain um, is objects. Some objects can act as impassable and some can be uh, essentially walked on. So for example, I've got uh, these cubes, and you'll notice this WLK at the end of its name, meaning that it can be walked on, but the same cube without the WLK at the end cannot be walked over. As you can see, this infantry unit can walk across, but he can also scale the side as well. So both a, a feature and a bug at the same time. Um, you might just want to stick impassable uh, objects up against if, if you can, if your design allows for. But as you'll see, this marine cannot get onto these bricks because they're not assigned uh, walk at the end of its name. This staircase here did have walk at the end of its name, but for some reason it's just passing straight through. This triangular brick here was also tagged as walk, but same thing, he's passing straight through it. 
I also want to quickly mention how to place grass. If you come up to the grass editor button here, go to type and use the plus arrow to add the type of grass to this list that you want to be able to place and then select it in the list and just left click. Then you can edit the grass by going to height. This part's basically the same as the uh, terrain height editor. You can use buttons 1 to 4 on your keyboard or mouse to cycle through the left button mode, but for some reason 5 through to 8 doesn't cycle the right button mode. And so what you use this for is to add some variation to the height of your grass. If you want to add other types of grass, just come back to type, select them or add them to the list, and use left click to place. Just be aware that adding other types of grass will remove the previous type. To remove grass completely, select no grass and apply that straight over the top. Unfortunately I'm not sure what crushed and burnt state for the grass does because it just seems to delete the grass. Might talk about adding water as well. First I'm going to create an area for the water to sit within. So I'll drop the height down to 5 using set value. Come up to the water button and right click. Now if I left click on this object here it tells me the current height of the water which is 7. If you remember I set that height to 5 so 7 is 2 higher than the height it was placed on. Then to change what the water looks like, come up to Scenario and Terrain Properties, down to Water and Lava. You can just click to expand that group, and it's this top drop-down box here. So I'll we'll select one and hit Apply, and notice it changes straight away. Just make sure you hit that Apply button to see the update. I might come back to water in a later video once I've figured out the rest of the settings, because it looks like you can do some pretty cool stuff with it. So I might leave it there for the moment, along with a bit of a sneak peek of a 2v2 map that I'm working on. I hope that I've helped, and as always, thanks for watching.